The judge handed down a sentence even stricter than the government asked for. She told Rodney Thomas here inside the federal courthouse that her sentence balanced his acceptance of responsibility through his guilty plea with the need for punishment, telling him the bald eagle he killed was deeply appreciated and admired by the community, something we heard firsthand from the witness stand. We just felt like it was a member of our family that was shot down. And, you know, the fact that there was no regard for this amazing bird and, you know, the life that it lived. Linda Carnavali testified in tears about losing the bald eagle she watched in this field since she moved into her Mount Pleasant Township home 18 years ago. And the day Rodney Thomas killed the eagle, firing from the passenger side of an SUV that then fled. According to court papers, Thomas turned himself in days later. And in court, after Carnavali's testimony, Thomas told the judge, quote, I understand how Mrs. C feels, the pain she feels, and the community feels. There was no deliberate intention to shoot a bald eagle. I thought it was a turkey vulture. I'm not saying I'm not responsible, I am. But I had no intention to shoot or kill a bald eagle. Shooting turkey vultures is also illegal. Carnavali says the killing was emotional because that bald eagle had a lifelong mate and there were eaglets in the nest when the male was killed. The day it happened to see the female bird sitting on a branch, she truly never left the branch all day, just waiting for the other one to come back. Thomas was sentenced to two years probation, 50 hours of community service at a bird or wildlife facility. He was ordered to surrender his airsoft rifle and the suppressor he used that day and pay more than $12,000 in fines and restitution. Outside the federal courthouse downtown, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.